All right. So yesterday I left Rio Watch after, God, I was there for four nights. Just found a lovely hotel. It was right on the beach and had a pool and was very comfortable and affordable. And every day I woke up, I was like, eh, not today. But yesterday I did, I pulled myself away and um, had kind of a short ride to a pueblo called Boca de Camarones, which is a funny name. It means shrimp's mouth. It's an indigenous community and it sits um, in a protected area, a sanctuary for flora and fauna and particularly flamingos. There's a big, big uh, flamingo population in a lagoon. And that was really the reason why I wanted to go. And um, it was just such an interesting experience. You know, it's completely indigenous and it's very, very poor. You know, it's like mud, huts, and there's a ton of trash, so much trash. You, you just can't imagine, you can't imagine people living in their own trash. Trash all around the houses, the bushes, the trees. It's all over everything. And to see the flamingos, you have to take a motorbike. The flamingos live in two lagoons, a small one that's closer and then a really big one that's much further away. And when it's windy, like it is now at this time of year, they move to this other lagoon. And so um, I had to get on a motorbike for like half an hour. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of motorbikes. They really scare me. You know, they're uncomfortable. It's hard to get on and off. I don't know if I can trust the driver. I just never feel safe. I really, it's not like I take motorbikes very often, but this is the second time on this trip that I've taken a motorbike. And this guy did a great job. His motorbike was easy to get on and off of. It was comfortable and he was a very good driver. Um, we had to ride like half an hour, mostly through sand and a lot of um, scrub. You know, I had to duck to, um, not to hit uh, branches. And there's a lot of trees, a lot of animals, a lot of indigenous, uh, a big indigenous community that we went through. So it was all very interesting. And then we got to the flamingos, had to walk a little ways. And then, um, oh, there were hundreds, hundreds of flamingos. It was fantastic. And then of course we had to go back and it was almost dark. It was really interesting. And then this morning, the hotel's owner's son took me on a bird watching walk which I just thought was so enterprising. This 12 year old kid, you know, sees an opportunity to make some money. And of course I said, yes. And we went with three dogs, which probably isn't the best if you're trying to, um, you know, not scare birds, but that's what happened. And, but we did, we actually saw a lot of birds and it was just fun and he's just an adorable kid. And I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, you know, 12 year old kid getting up at six in the morning to make a little money. I, I just was very impressed. And then uh, today I'm headed to a town, I think it's called Dibuya. And the hotel owner said it's the capital, indigenous capital of, I think, La Guajira. So we'll see what that means. You never know. Um, but I've been assured there's a hotel and that for me, for me is the most important thing is to make sure I am safe every night. So all right, let's go. De booyah. Come on, Myrtle. Let's go. Lots of tricycle vendors out here in Riwacha. It's kind of the main tourist drag. 
right along the ocean. motorbike driver to take me to the La, the flamingos yeah okay wish me luck so here i am on the back of a motorbike to go look at flamingos Andres? Sí. Hola, Hola. buenos días. Buenos días. Yeah, so Andres is taking me bird watching. And we're gonna go walk for maybe an hour or so. Um, es muy bonito todo. Yeah, lots, lots of birds. It's about six o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're gonna go walk with three dogs. Mm -hmm. 